Hi, I'm Philip Robinson from the University of Queensland. I'm here in uh, beautiful San Diego for ACR 17. I've just come from a great session on osteoarthritis and essentially the focus of the session was thinking about how, oste how osteoarthritis interacts with inflammation. So there's been lots of uh, work looking at the levels of inflammation in osteoarthritis and they've found that these correlate to high progression, so more joint space loss over time. And then if you look in animals, if you treat them with anti-inflammatory treatments, like uh, anti-IL-1-RA, you can actually treat osteoarthritis, but that hasn't been shown in humans. Uh, but certainly if you then uh, look at trials of anti-inflammatory treatments, for example corticosteroids, there are some short-term benefits in some trials, but the most recent big trial showed uh, a loss of cartilage over time. But then there have been some other more exciting trials looking at things like adalimumab. While the primary outcome was negative, when you looked at things like palpable effusions in joints, there was a significant effect. Uh, and then things like uh, anti-inflammatories topically work. So this all comes together, both the basic science and the therapeutics, to say that in the future we might have therapies uh, that are anti-inflammatory in nature that, that can make a difference in osteoarthritis. So I think watch this space. And for more information, go to roomnow.com.